thought I was really gonna cry. I guess I'm just very emotional still about everything that happened with him. Comment below if you've ever lost a pet and how did you go through your grieving process and what was your pet's name and how old were they when they passed? Hi citizens, this video is gonna be hard for me to record. I've been wanting to do it for a while ever since my fur baby Cody passed away and every time I decide to do it, I just was overcome with emotions and just cried. In my last video, It's a Family Affair, my mom went with me to pick up Cody's ashes and this was really hard for me because everything surrounding Cody's sudden illness and passing away has been just hard to deal with and along with that I had a lot of other deaths in the family and I had been numb for like a while. I can't believe I like, cried again. Needless to say I wanted to walk you through the experience, well my experience to get his ashes. I was really nervous because I didn't know what to expect. I've never picked up ashes before. I've never dealt with cremation like with humans, like on a personal level. When my father passed away, um, he was cremated, but everything was taken care of him. I didn't have to see that. So I just didn't know what to expect. So my mom went with me and when I went in, they told me they were gonna give me the blankets that he had when I took him in, but I totally forgot to pick those up or ask for them, so I didn't get the blankets back. When I went in to pick him up, they, he had been ready for like five days. They opened this cabinet, and the cabinet's like high up, and in the cabinet was a bunch of bags, and they were maroon bags. Kinda hurt my heart to know that he was kinda, his remains were sitting on a shelf for like five days. And I just, I'll just go ahead and show you the bag. So, he was sitting on a shelf in this bag, and they were all sideways. And so it was a lot of people's pets and they just handed it to you. And it's called My Pet Angel. Believe it or not, he's in this bag. Um, in the bag, there's several things. There's a, um, I just went ahead and put his collar and other things in it, his medicine prescription. And then in a um, My Pet Angel little velvet bag, there is a mold where they did a paw print before they did it. So that's his paw print. And his name is on the back with the cremation number. Then there was some information about um, how to keep your pet in your heart and just different coping strategies. There's a certificate for his passing, like a death certificate. He passed away on January 9th. I wish I had this like when I walked out because um, it talks about how to deal with grief and just good ways to remember him. And maybe I'll make a, a video about this in the future. As you see, every time I think about it, I start crying, so. Grief is like a river and it talks about grief first where even though um, I'm not crying all the time like I, like I used to, sometimes I think about him or I think about somebody I lost and I just have a grief first where I cry and I go through it. Also, in this bag is um, a box. I decided to get, get a box to put his remains in instead of an urn. In this box is his ashes and I've never seen ashes before and the tag is on it and so I, I was very curious and so I kinda wanna show you all if you've never seen ashes before, what they look like. He was, at this point, 32 pounds. He had lost a lot of weight. If you don't want to see his ashes, just go ahead and fast forward past this part. But I just wanted to show you like what it looks like. Um, inside the container is another velvet bag and it says my pet angel and his ashes are actually in this bag. When I first got it, I didn't look at them for like maybe three days, but then like, curiosity got the best of me. So I just kind of wanted to see them. And so inside this bag is a, a plastic bag with um, a, a pet angel private tag, the tag that they use for his cremation number, and then his ashes. And so his ashes are, are here. 
and this is kind of this is the aftermath of Cody and they're like really it looks like sand it's just the oddest thing to me to I mean the Bible says ashes to ashes dust to dust this is essentially what will happen to all of us uh, my mom suggested a ceremony about like maybe like sprinkling his ashes somewhere but right now I just kind of want his ashes with me until I figure out or when I'm ready to let go that's Canadian Queen 76 do go and find it exclusively on YouTube oh yeah